here after reading the question we got to know we have to pass journal entries the last line of the page or question is give the journal entries in the books of a b and c fine we have to draw the format of a b a and c b is the drawer a is the dry c is the person who has the got the endorsement from b a purchases goods worth rupees 6200 from b and give him his acceptance for 6000 in full satisfaction that means a is purchasing the first entry there is no date first entry is purchases account debited to b being goods purchased on credit from b a is buying it from b that means b is selling to a in the books of b a debited to sales account 6200 is being goods sold on credit to a b sold to a a bought from b then b a b drew the acceptance and uh, a signed it hence signing of the accept acceptance in the books of a that is b debited 6200 rupees to bills payable account in the credit column rupees 6000 to discount account rupees 200 in the credit column being the acceptance given to b in the books of b in the books of b that is bills receivable account debited 6000 b is receiving the acceptance of a bills receivable account debited 6000 discount account debited 200 to a 6200 being the acceptance of a received in full settlement there is a discount 200 each and next line read the question b purchased goods worth rupees 10000 from c hence b purchased from c purchases account debited to c in the books of b purchases account debited 10000 to c 10000 rupees being goods purchased from c then read the question and endorses the bill to him paying the balance by check the bill was for 6000 and b endorsed the bill received from a to c and the balance was given by check hence the entry in the books of b is c debited 10000 rupees to bills receivable account 6000 in the credit column to bank account 4000 in the credit column being the acceptance of a endorsed to c along with a check for the balance amount then there will be no entry both in the journal of a there will be no entry then the next entry will be on maturity the bill is dishonored noting charges amounting to rupees 100 she must have paid noting charges The entry for dishonor in the books of A will be bills payable account debited rupees six thousand. The previous discount will be cancelled. Discount account debited two hundred. Noting charges account debited hundred to to B. By mistake, I have written to cash account. It is to B. Being the acceptance given to B, dishonor and noting charges rupees. Paid rupees hundred paid by C, and simultaneously the entry in the books of B will be A debited to C to discount. A debited six thousand three hundred six thousand for a bill value, two hundred for interest, and a hundred for noting charges. To C six thousand one hundred for bill value to discount two hundred. Being the acceptance endorsed to C designer and noting charges paid by him rupees hundred. Paid by C, him means C. Now total the journal for B the totaling will be thirty eight thousand seven hundred rupees. For C it will be eighteen thousand seven hundred rupees. 
and journal in the books of tea. In the not in the books of tea, it is books of C. First of all, C purchased goods from B. Purchase account debited. Sorry. Journal of T. It is journal of C. C sold goods to B. B debited to sales rupees ten thousand each, being goods sold on credit to B and received from him a bill for six thousand and a balance by check for four thousand. That is, bills receivable account debited six thousand, bank account debited four thousand to B ten thousand, being the acceptance of A received from B by check. It is not with check; it is by check, and the bill was dishonored. That means B debited six thousand one hundred to bills receivable account six thousand to cash account rupees hundred as noting charges. Being acceptance of A received from B dishonored and noting charges paid rupees hundred, and the total will be twenty six thousand one hundred both debit and credit column, and this is the. Final answer.